I'm Norma Walton and this is Norma Walton Talks. Previously I've discussed how Charles Dickens was right and how a character of his in David Copperfield was also right. Wilkins Micawber said, income 20 pounds, expenses 19 pounds, result happiness. Income 20 pounds, expenses 21 pounds, result misery. So the objective is to earn more than you spend. Today I'm going to discuss four ideas for increasing your income that I've seen over the last few months. So the first one involves a fellow who works with me from time to time who purchased a van. So he bought a $4,000 van. It's a 2013 Grand Caravan, 187,000 kilometers. Bought it the other day. And I said, Danny, how are you going to pay for this van? He said, well, it's interesting. He said, I could have bought a different type of vehicle, but I bought a van because I can do garbage runs in my van. I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, lots of people have stuff that they want carted away and I charge $50 a load plus the dump fees. So he said, so by my calculation, if I do about 80 of those, I'll have paid off my van. I thought that's a very creative way to make extra income. The other thing he does with his van is he picks things up on the side of the road, fixes them and resells them for money. So again, two examples of how he makes more income on a regular basis. The second example is back in the fall, a fellow that I know bought a Rogue for $500, but he couldn't pay to certify it. So I offered him $1,000 for it, which made him happy, and I paid another $1,500 to certify it, and then I sold it for $3,800. So again, a simple example, once all the fees were, were gone, I made probably $900 or $1,000, but it's a great way to supplement your income. The third example is a dear friend of mine is a stay-at-home mom, but she's very bright and very entrepreneurial. She recently became a Tupperware salesperson. So again, she can make a little bit of extra money doing that each month. Finally, we pay for tutoring for our four children. They need help in math and French. So we pay $50 an hour for math and French tutoring and we're happy to pay it because the children need it. So those are four examples that you can think about to make extra money so that your income is greater than your expenses. I would suggest you consider what you're good at, what you love, all the things you're capable of doing, and I'm sure you'll come up with four ideas of your own to help generate extra income. And all you need is one good idea and you're all set. Once your income is more than your expenses, the result, happiness. Thank you for listening.